What do you guys like to eat at the dinner table? Do you guys eat as a family at the dinner table? Or do you guys kind of just do your own thing? Y'all kind of just grab something to go? Everybody has to worry about themselves for dinner? Or what do you guys like during dinner time? Y'all comment down below. We love to hear what you guys have to say. I love how me and Bae come together and eat dinner as a family. When I was growing up, that's exactly what we did. You know, that's a family member I really, really miss and cherish. Uh, we came together as a family to eat dinner and my parents used to tell me the importance of doing that, you know, just to be able to bond with, as a family, talk about our days and everything. And I realized as an adult how important that is, so I definitely want to do that with my family now and my future family, you know. I would love to spend time together by coming together to the dinner table to eat. What about you, babe? What do you think about family time? I think it's good. Yeah, dinner. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, mm -hmm. since um, my mom was a single parent, mm -hmm. we kind of just, she'll cook and I'll go upstairs and eat my food. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like that now. Yeah. You know, I mean... That's fine with me because yeah, I, like I like to watch, t I like to watch TV, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm eating and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I don't know. As I got older, like I kind of just be to myself. You mm -hmm. know, gonna do your own thing. It's just fine. There's all kinds of ways you can eat dinner. Yeah. You know, it just depends. You know, every family is different. So it's just you know, some family may do one thing, one family may do something different. You know, it's that's the beauty of it. You know, seeing differences in families and embracing the you know differences. Mm -hmm. well, that was really good. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Maybe doing her thing. I'm gonna get the bigger ones. Like the bigger one? I like them both. I like the thick cut. I like, is that, is that the one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I because like We one. get that sometimes too. Got but this is like the lean one, so it's a little better because it's less proportionate. You're trying to eat better. Stop. I am trying to eat better. Oh. I like, I like a lot of meat. Well, yeah, but the lean ones are good because it kind of helps you eat in moderation kind of thing. Like it's not as big, so you're not eating as much. But I like the thick ones too, so we can get some thick ones. I like them both. Mm. It's funny because I wasn't a big pork chop eater growing up, but in my adulthood, like I love pork chops now. Mm. Oh, this one. Just like banana pudding, I didn't care for it growing up, but Oops. now I actually like it. So... This some celery. I'm gonna put celery in it. Oh yeah, but I got her some celery. See, I don't, I don't really care for celery, so I don't eat it. But it's good for seasoning. So, mmm, I like it. Try it. I don't eat celery. Mm. I'm not a celery person. Just like cucumbers, I don't eat cucumbers either. But I like pickles, but I don't like cucumbers, which is weird because it's the same thing pretty much. <laughs> And it looks like soft, they're pretty tender, like the celery. It's like soft. Mm. So good. Mm-hmm. It is good. So, babe, let's get into these questions. Okay, sure. Let's get into it. So, we got some questions. Who is your favorite role model? Who is my favorite role model? My dad will always be, I love, you know, both my parents, but my dad, I'm such a daddy's girl. 
my dad is looked upon like as far as he always does a lot for people, does a lot for young people, people in general. general. He always puts others first before himself. Like he shows it every single day. So my pop has always been my role model because it's like I like following his footsteps because he did so much, you know, like having that spirit of giving and being generous, you know, like, like I love my pop, like he was awesome, he still is awesome, and so he just shows that he has such a good heart that there's people out there that have good hearts and actually care about people the way it should be because he does a lot for people, a lot. So my dad was my, and still is my role model. What about you? Who's your role model, babe? My role model is my mom. Mm -hmm. Because she does a lot for people, too. Mm -hmm. And just just how her personality is. Like, she's just a wonderful woman. Yeah. And I'm so glad to have her. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's a blessing. Definitely. It's always good to cherish those close to you. Like, you want to always cherish them. You know, great, great memories. You know, visit them. I need to do a better job of actually picking up the phone and calling and visiting more. I want to do that. So mm, I need to do that. Quick. Yeah, the bait. Everything's good. You know, I dipped it in there and it tastes good. Oh, and the like juices? Mm. You should try it. Let's see. I got a little juice on there already. Dipping it in the juice that was in that baked dish. Mm hmm. Okay. This can be like a sauce. <laughs> yeah, it's like a sauce. <laughs> Dipping sauce. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. I like it. Mm mm mm. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah. So you be doing your thing. You be doing okay. Your thing. <laughs> well, the next question. Uh -huh. Who inspires you the most? Who inspires me the most? Let me think about this one for a minute. Who inspires me the most? Oh, I'm so hungry. I guess as far as overall, I, eat the whole thing. I have a lot of different people that inspire me. You know, of course, my dad, my mom. Uh, Bay inspires me because she's so patient. You know, I work on my patience and everything and mm -hmm. frustration and stuff. She's so patient, has a gentle heart and spirit. So she inspires me in that way. You know, my mom inspires me, you know, just showing how to be a mother and how to be there for a family no matter what. Like, she's always, you know, somebody to look up to and always want to model. Like, she's a great model and inspiration. You know, my brother is awesome. Like, I love, like, he has such a willpower and motivation. Like, he stays motivated. He actually goes for what he wants no matter what. Like, he's... Wow, I love my brother. I love my family. I love, you know, my babe. Like, she, like, they all inspire me in different ways. I like inspiration as far as, like, you know, there's a lot of people that influence me just in the YouTube world, you know, that are, that inspire me. You know, I'm a sneakerhead. So I do have a sneaker channel, you guys. Y'all go check me out. It's C Sneaks TV. That's C E E S N E A K S TV. Y'all go check me out because I post daily vids on there as well, as well as this channel. But Jumpman Bostic, of course, is what got me on YouTube back in the days. I was on YouTube, you know, back like a few years ago, and then I stopped that channel. And so, like, Jumpman Bostic got me on there because he has so, so many shoes, such a great collection. He has over a thousand kicks. He's been collecting since 1985, you know, when Jordan was playing in the league. So he has so many great stuff. It's inspirational. Uh, Tony D2 Wild, I'm inspired by him as well. You know, he works hard. Him and Bullet RC both inspirational because they, you know, have their own business, their own, you know, they have their own clothes, their own collections. Like, they're very inspirational. They go hard for what they want. Mike the Compass, I like him as well. You know, he has a drive for success and um, he stays motivating others. Um, Sniper Jones, you know, yeah, guy has a lot of drive and potential. Like, it's a lot of different YouTubers that inspire me. Um, as far as a sneaker YouTube, as far as a couple of YouTubers that inspire me, you know, I like different styles of uh, couples. Like, I like um, uh, like Tia and Elon. I like 
Jazz and Tay. Um, I like Tay and Lou. Like, they're all really good couple of YouTube channels. Y'all go check them out as well. So it's like a lot of different people inspire me in different ways. My grandma inspires me, my cousins, you know, just seeing that they go hard for what they want no matter what. Like my aunts, like my family, like I get inspired by different people in different ways. So I have a lot of inspiration. Sorry, I was running my mouth so long, but it was a lot to say about that one. What about you, babe? Who inspires you the most? Who inspires me the most? Um, my family. Mm -hmm. Everybody in my family, we're all big you know, have big careers, mm -hmm. either in, in the medical field or mm -hmm. in, like, administrative mm -hmm. or in teachers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. My family, too, in big careers, very career-oriented. Career or have their own business. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That was a good question. So, next question. Mm-hmm. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? When I was a kid, what did I want to be when I grew up? I always wanted to be a doctor. I said I was going to be a pediatrician. Like when I was little, all the way up through college, through my, actually through my second year of college. Like I did nursing in college for, for two years, and then I switched to kinesiology my junior year. But I always thought when I was little, I would be a doctor. That was my thing. I was going to be a pediatrician, but... You know, God saw otherwise, so that wasn't, I thought that was what I was going to do, but, you know, he showed me a whole new path. And so, <clears throat> pediatrician, that's what I wanted to be when I was little. Man, you really good pediatrician. Basketball player, oh, professional basketball player as well, because I, I lived, I, I ate, slept, and breathed basketball growing up. I was always on the court. Yeah, I played basketball with dudes, girls, grown people, like, I was always hooping. And... I said I wanted to be a professional basketball player as well, so I wanted to do WNBA, you know. So that was like a dream job of mine growing up as well. Mm. That and a pediatrician. What about you, babe? Hmm. Mine. Yeah, what was your, what did you want to be when you, when you growing up? I wanted to, it's kind of both. Mm. Kind of help both careers. I wanted to be a teacher, mm -hmm. and then I wanted to be in, like, do nursing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you wanted to be a teacher. Yeah, I wanted to be a teacher. Wow. I didn't know that. Um, but then I looked at it, and just, like, like, I was going to nursing school, but just, like, the classes and stuff, like, they just weren't there. It wasn't. You really weren't feeling it? No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's like this, mm -hmm. and I'm a person that's not really fat. Like, it was so you know, fast like you, you know, what I'm saying like classes they take, you have to. They'll have a, like another test the next day. Yeah, it's yeah. very fast, fast paced. And I remember the college days where, uh, especially in the medical field, it was so much. It was like it's going to science hours, you know, nursing hours and academics. It was a lot. Like my first year of college, I took sixteen hours, which they said that was a lot to take for a freshman. <laughs> But, you know, I just went ahead and took the load, and it was a lot. So it was like, I took 16 hours. Um, my first year of nursing, my freshman year of college, I took 16. And they say recommended 12 hours, but I took 16. So I had a full load. And so it's a lot. So I definitely would say, yeah, don't take that many hours. <laughs> yeah. Now, teaching, you know, it depends on, like, what you what you want to teach for. Because mm -hmm. when you teach, you can be, you know, you can pick whatever grade level. Mm -hmm. But if I decide to, like, do teaching, mm -hmm. like, now, I wouldn't teach high school because, mm -hmm. you know. I don't want to deal with the teenagers. No, because they'll be like, well, you know, you're a couple of years older, you know, years older than me, you know, uh-uh. If I teach it, I would have to be elementary school, and especially no middle school, because middle school kids, these kids now, yo, they they worse, they worse than when I was, you yeah, know, they worse they're definitely me. different now. <laughs> they are, mm. but yeah. So if I, you know, decide to go back, I do teaching. Yeah, that's not like a good career. I mean, I'm in the what middle field now. What would you teach? Now. What subject? Um, my subject I would teach. Oh, what class would you like to teach if you were a teacher? 
It would be, since I like reading, it would be reading and writing. It won't be math, because I hate math. That's like the worst subject ever. Like, mm. That's like, no. But oh, okay. Math. But yeah. No, I had no idea you want to be a teacher. That's interesting. But in the, in the nursing field, well, I am in a medical field. It is not a nurse. Mm. So, you know, I'm still... Which is still good. Yes. Right now. Good. They just graduated from her school, too, from uh, becoming, what you call a CNA? Yeah. Yeah, so she just graduated. So shout out to her. For, she graduated back in May yeah. of this year. And so very proud of her and everything. So maybe a future CNA or is there another field in there you want to do, maybe? or? Well, I'm just kind of with the nursing aid. Like, I'm, I don't know. Like when I was going to school for it, it was, it was easy. But it's like when you see it, like when you go to nursing home and stuff like that, maybe I'll change my career. Maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good. It's good helping people because it really mm -hmm. is because it's like Absolutely. you know, especially older people. You yeah. know, and like you just see people in nursing homes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's why it's like when you get into the medical field, that's a business where you have to be, you know. Have an open mind. You yeah. don't have to be a, you know, you can't be all mean and mm -hmm. all that because you don't know what that person is going through. You really don't. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang, mukbang, whatever it is. It's banging. It was banging. Everything was delicious. Shout out to Bay for always doing her thing in the kitchen, always preparing us a lovely dinner pretty much almost every day. Shout out to her. And guys, thank you guys for tuning in. But until next time, you guys, it's your girl, Carla. And your wonderful, Micah. <laughs> until next time, we out. Deuce.